Hi there and welcome to Blaze Faith Apparel. Today I'm going to show you how to download, use and print separate layers on my patterns on Adobe Acrobat Reader. So here I've gone to adobe.com and you are going to select the PDF and Signature section here and go down to the Acrobat Reader DC. This is the only one that's free so if you go into any of the other ones they'll ask for a membership and click on download reader. Now press the top one, download Acrobat Reader. If you select the second one, it signs you up for a expensive version. There we go, and to proceed, go up to your installer to complete, just up here. There we go, skip to the end and select this one. It will take you to your application section, I believe. There we go, you click on this one, this is the downloader for the Acrobat Reader, and continue. This took a bit of time to download so I've just sped it up, and there we go, and now press close. I moved to bin so it doesn't, you know, hang around on your computer, there's no point having the installer. And here you go to your applications and it will come up as Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. I have two on there because I've got a membership so I've got both of them anyway. I just did this process to show you how to get through. There we go and agree. Now you have it all on your computer. I'm going to go up to files and open the pattern. Um, if you're downloading my pattern or whatever pattern you're using, if it has editable layer capabilities, this is what you need to do. Open your document. And once it's up, it comes up with this when you first start. So you might want to go through their tutorial, but I'm gonna skip straight to this section. This is how my patterns come out when you buy them. And this is what you will get here we go, have a little scroll down to show you. I'm just going to stop on a pattern piece so you can actually see where the layers are. Here we go, so we've got all the separate layers. This one is, a, I think, believe it's extra small, small, medium, large, and on and on and on. So if you go along to the panels on the left side here, go down to the bottom one with the squares all layered up, and here you can see eyes. If you select and unselect, you can see on the right hand side that different layers, different sizes are coming and going. So you can select what you want. I've even done a selection for the pocket if you're doing a pocket option or not. This saves a lot on ink and it can save on a few pages here and there. So if you just go through here, we can see what's being removed. So if we want to remove the names, for example, which I can't imagine you would, but just in case you did, you, there we go, you can select that, that's the pocket section. There we go, that's just showing how we can select a few patterns. So I'm going to go for, I'm going to keep large and small. Take away the pocket and that's what we're going to print, you can see there. It keeps everything else, it just takes away all those sizes that we don't need. Go through to print. This bit's very important, it's already set up manually for me because I always do it, but make sure that you have selected down here, sorry, make sure you have selected a custom scale. There we go, custom scale and always have it printed to 100%. This means that it's going to print it exactly how I've designed it and it's not going to mess up your measurements or anything. If you hadn't seen there, there's a 5cm box on the first page. So whenever you print a pattern, I always suggest printing the first page first and you measure that box 5cm. There's markings on every single page as well with a 5cm or 3 inch marking, so you can check it in many places. Here I'm going through and just seeing if there's any pages that are blank that I don't need to print. You've got to be very careful when doing this because there is occasionally a line at the top that you can't quite see that you need to print. So make that just like up here. This page here I need to print here because there's a bit up the top, but page 26 here I don't need to print. So I'm going to go along to pages and I'm going to do one through to 25. 
and then comma page 27 because that's the extra one I want and then if you go through you can see which pages are available there we go I go all the way along to the end and it says pages 1 to 26 but in brackets there's a 27 so you know that the final page is 27 so it's not going to print out page 26 for me which is fab so there I've only saved one page but it depends on the pattern and what you're selecting there we go and you hit print and there's all your pattern pieces ready to go to scale Thank you for watching this video and I hope you've learned something. If you have any questions, please leave a message down below and I'll get back to you. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more sewing tutorials and tips and tricks.